Hi friends, in this video, let's see how to create a content in a Drupal website. So before just starting the video, let's see what and all we will be covering in this video. So the first we will be seeing how to create a basic page in a Drupal 10 version. While creating, we will see what is a revision log message, how to add a menu link on a page, how to add a URL alias that is a path to a page. And we will see what is an editor and uh, what and all are the text formats available in a Drupal website and the use of promotion options. So these things we will be covering in our video. So just let's start. Uh, so before opening the uh, Drupal website, you just need to start the server. So open the control panel and start the Apache server and MySQL server. So after just starting this, just go to a Chrome and type as a localhost forward slash followed by your Drupal folder name. So I have given a name as a Drupal website. Just type it and enter. So here I have already logged in with the admin active username. So now let's see how to create a content. Uh, so just click on this content link. You will be landing to this page and here you will find the option so called as a add content. Just click on it. So here it will be showing a two article content types. So the first one is an article and the second one is a basic. So two content types it's showing. Uh, usually the article content type is used for the time sensitive contents like a news, a press releases or a blog post. So the uh, news contents uh, usually need a day to day updates. So for those contents, uh, article content type is being used. And in order, if you want to create a static content, so for that, the basic page content type is perfect. So now let's just see the basic page content type. So just click on it. And here you can see, uh, after just clicking on it, it's showing uh, two fields to me. One is a title field and the one more is a body field. So now just let's create a about us. So I have just uh, written as a title and give something body as just like as a, this is a about us page. This is about us link and here one more thing just after typing if you want to give a kind of uh, uh, format let's say if I just selected this about us word and if I just click on this bold so it will be just get bolded out and if I just want to make this in italic format so just select that particular words and just click on the italic icon so this is uh, something we can do easily of formatting and the next here you can see this is something a linking so if we want to make some word to link to just navigate to some other page that also we can make it. So I have just typed it as a Google and I will just give a hyperlink to it by saying google.com. So this is something if we just click on it, it will be taken to us uh, to a Google page. And the next here you can see uh, the image icon is also available. So if you want, we can just insert an image. So as of now, I will just insert one of the Drupal image. And here you can see it's asking the alternative text for this image. So if the image doesn't close in the front end, so it will be showing this alternative text. So I will just give it as a Drupal. And here you can see this is something an alignment. Uh, this is a breaking text. This is a align left and wrapper text, align center, align right and wrapper text. And this is something in line. So I will make it as an inline and we will just save it later. So now this is the body part which you are seeing. This is something called as an editor. Here you can see the above uh, we have a few options to so just add a contents and all. So this text format is uh, basically as a basic HTML. So th like that three uh, text formats were there. So if I just click on the full HTML. So for this there are a few extra options were there for a full HTML text format. So the extra things were like a strike through superscript subscript and uh, this uh, table inserting table and also few extra options were coming up here and if you want we can make a, a like two for a few sentences in the form of a quote as well and we can make uh, the heading a block or a paragraph block so we can make it as according to our need requirement so this is something called as an editor part. So where we will be having a three text formats. And the next one is about a restricted HTML text format. 
so this is something which will be showing in the code format so even though if you publish it by keeping this text format and if you see in the front end it will be showing the same code instead of showing the image link and the text so just as of now let's make it back to a uh, text format basic html so just click on the continue and here, here we have just added, added one uh, paragraph, one link and one image. So this thing, if you just click on this source, so you can see this part is being made it as in the form of a code. So without typing a code, we are able to just do it by just um, adding few contents. And the next here you can see the published uh, che uh, checkbox is already checked in. So whatever the content we are creating, that should be published in our front end. So then only it makes a sense. So I have just checked in here and uh, in the right side, if you just observe, you can see the revision log message like that one field is there here. So this is something where uh, if we created a one content and if you are doing a edit of or the, um, editing more than one time, so at that time we can briefly describe to the users that what changes we have made it. So for that sake, it's been this field is there. As of now, we are create we are just creating for the first time, so this is uh, not at all needed. Now just let's go to a menu settings. So here, this um, basic page about us, we can make it as in the form of a menu as well. So I will just click on this provide a menu link. And here if you want, we can just provide a description as well. So I have just given it as this is about us link. And wait, this is something called as an indexing, uh, like the menu, how it will occur in the sequence way. So in that way, as of now, I'll just give it as zero. And the next is about the URL alias. So URL alias, this is something, uh, an alternative path we can provide it um, by which data can be accessed. So here you can see the example also they have given as a slash about when writing an about page. So I'll be just giving as a slash about us. So this is something the uh, customized, like we can give alternative path whatever we want manually. And here the next is authoring information. So when this um, content is being published and who is authored by so that it's, it's showing as an admin. So this is done by the admin user name. And when this is being published a date and the timing, every data will be having it out here. And the next is comes about the promotion options. So if we want to make this basic page to be promoted in a front page, so we can just check in this checkbox and we can save it and this is something sticky at top of the list so if you want to make any of the uh, uh, any of the page to come in the top of the front end so that we can just make it so i will be showing this in the later so as of now just let's save this part so you can see basic page about us has been created and that menu has been added also in this section so if i just click on it you can see about us this is an about us link and if this is a link actually if i just click on it it will be taking me to a Google page. Why? Because the hyperlink I have provided as a google.com. And this is the image part. And if I just go to a home page, what we did is while creating this ab about us basic page, we told this should be promoted to a front page. So just if we click on the home, it's showing the about us content also to me. Why? Because this has been promoted to a front page. Now just let's create a one more content. Click on add content. Click on basic page. So here I will be just giving as a services and here I will tell this is a service, this is a service link or I will tell this is a service content and I will just keep it in the format of basic HTML. Menu settings I will just provide it as a menu. And the description this is a service page and url alias we can just provide it as according to our um, need like i will be just giving it as a slash services and the promotion options i will be telling to promote it to a front page as of now so just let's save it now you can see this services menu is being created it here so i have just for this description i have just given it as a service content for the body section if I just go to a home, this services content, we told this to be promoted to a front page. So the latest um, basic page is been coming up. But if I want this about us should come in the top of this page, then what we need to do is 
I just need to click on this pencil icon, edit. And here we just need to check in this checkbox that is sticky at the top of the list. So what it will happen is that I'll just click on save. So irrespective of the which uh, current uh, which current um, content you will be creating, this about us will be getting sticked out to the top of this list. So this is about that option that is a sticky at top of the list. So here this is about the contents which and all we have created. So here we have covered uh, to just conclude the video we have covered how to create a basic page and what is the revision log message how to add a menu link that we have saw it and how to add a URL alias what is the editor and there were three text formats were there basic HTML full HTML and the restricted so that we have gone through and the use of promotion options like whether it should be promoted to front page or whether it should uh, be a sticky at top of the list. So that everything we have saw it here so as of now that's it in our next video we will just be seeing the blocks uh, custom blocks how to create a block in a drupal as of now uh, this much for this video thank you